Yeah. All right, let's go. Can you hear me? All right, I'm gonna turn it on, okay? Alright, we're back. I have something that I pulled off the side of the road. A little Toro recycler. Um, even has the bag. I don't know much about it. I literally just pulled it off the side of the street and put it back here. I did throw a little bit of gas into the air filter over here. And pulled her and she did start up for a second. So I'm just gonna go into the assumption that it works. But the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean it up. So let me get you set up and we're going to pressure wash this and see what we're dealing with. I'm gonna take the air filter out because we're gonna try to clean this up. It actually looks pretty nice on the inside. So we're gonna blow some air in it, see if we can clear it. But I'm gonna put the housing back on so water doesn't try to find its way too far into the carburetor here. Yeah! All right, let's go. Can you hear me? All right, I'm gonna turn it on, okay? day she's all cleaned up looking way better um, I did a once over um, something I did notice on this wheel over here was we have a crack but I think it's gonna be okay it doesn't seem like it's really compromising the wheel at all and also just a little test if you go back and forth the wheels move okay if you engage then they lock up, which tells me it should, the gear drive should work. Um, what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna yank off this carb. I'll bring you back once I have it on the table and we'll clean her up before we throw any gas on. So let me pull that off and then I'll uh, bring you back. All right, well, here she is. With these ones, the Tacoma's engines, um, generally I like to keep the, uh, 
the intake on because it has the uh, the RPM sp um, kind of spring here. And if you unbolt it, then it's just another thing to put back together. But um, all we're gonna do, because I checked out the primer bulb, I don't see any cracks or anything, so we're gonna keep that. We're just gonna take off this bowl, check out what's going on. Um, you know, we can do a little test right now. We'll see if it blows air when it sits up and then I'll put it down and see if it still blows air. Cause I think that's why they threw this thing away was it's probably leaking gas. Or you know what? Maybe it's not doing anything cause blown in it, um, didn't do a thing. So they probably left gas in it and the car stopped working. So just your typical throw away lawnmower. That looks super clear. Makes me think that just this, oh, look at that. That looks really, really clean. So I don't know why. Let's try it again. Blows. Works just fine. Was it just a little stuck, you think? Yeah, because I do it like this. Absolutely nothing. Goes down. Comes right out. So this thing's good. And if you look, I'll, I'll get, let me get a good angle on you guys. This thing is beautifully cleaned. So this was a surprise. <laughs> look how clean that is. Unless, is it missing? No, this is the jet right here. This is the main. So that looks super clean. I don't see anything in it. That looks really clean. This is really good. This gasket. Oh, sorry. There we go. This gasket looks like it's kind of a bit of a problem. It just needs to, I'll fix that. But I mean, other than that, I'll clean up the bowl here because it looks like it was probably leaking a little bit there. But this carb, I think this thing is in perfect condition. Well, let me put it back together. I'm gonna to throw it back on the engine and we'll put some gas in it. So I, I don't think there's any problems here. I don't even think we need to, oh, lost the gasket. I don't even think we need to spray carb cleaner in it. Yeah, I can't really see in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this looks fine. I, don't, I, I see just exterior kind of dirt. So let me button her back up and let's get some gas in her, huh? All right, let's see if we can blow this puppy out. Looks a little bit better. We're gonna use that. I'm also gonna blow out kind of around the governor here. Um, I'm gonna put you guys down just so I can have an extra hand to put over the, uh, the intake there, but uh, we'll clean this up. Throw some gas in here. See if she fires up. All right, let's see how she does. Got about a quarter tank in there. I don't feel anything. Let's go. Seems a little bit lean. Um, I'm not going to really worry. What this thing probably needs, just smelling it and kind of looking at the oil. I'm sure an oil change will help, but it's pretty dirty. Um, I don't see any gas leaks, but she fired up. What I'm gonna just do is uh, give her a good run, probably here in a little bit. I'll just tie some string down, but gear drive works, on and off works. She cleaned up nice. Um, I guess really is just, I'm gonna probably give it a good 10 minute run and then um, maybe a little bit later, um, see about doing an oil change and uh, sharpen the blade and getting her posted. So I'll bring you back when we uh, go do that. 
All right, we have our on our side. Here's the blade. I'm gonna yank this off. Thing definitely needs a sharpen, but otherwise I think the blade looks pretty good. Then we got the oil draining right now. It's pretty close to done. I'll just tip the rest out, but just your typical dirty oil. Looks really thin, so makes me think that, um, I don't know, maybe some gas gun in or something, but we're definitely gonna just change that out now that it's a runner. Um, so I'll put some new gas in there and uh, I'll put some new oil in there. Don't put gas in there. Put new oil in there and then I'm going to yank this blade off and then I'll get you guys set up so you guys can see me kind of uh, sharpen her up. All right, so it's not in the best of condition, but I think I can get a little edge on it. Everything else looks okay. Um, just old rusty blade, but I think I'm going to try to get a small little edge on it just to... You know, make sure it cuts okay for the next person, but um, let me show you how to do that. I got a Dremel with a little uh, tip on it. I don't like having the, um, they, they make the things that kind of hold your Dremel at an angle. I just find it's really hard to make contact with it, whereas I can kind of eyeball it and get a good idea. So I'm just gonna use the Dremel like this and uh, let me show you how to, how I do it, so. Let's check the balance on it. Looks pretty good. So as you can see here, I have it sitting on this little balancing tool. And if it leans to any side, as you could probably imagine, um, if it leans to any side, as you can probably imagine, it means that it is heavier on one side. And the worse it is, the more your lawnmower will, will vibrate. In this case, the small little bit of cleanup I've done, the rusty condition of the blade, I am not gonna go like worry about it too much. Um, I think someone's gonna be a actually really happy that this now has somewhat of an edge. Um, it'll definitely last them um, the season. You know, they're gonna wanna use it probably this fall coming up, especially with the wetter grass. Um, let me get this back on. I'll bring it in and get some oil in it. Show you guys that. I just use whatever oil I have sitting around. I have some 5W30 that I'm gonna probably put in it. So we'll just show that. And then um, I have an air filter coming. So when that comes in, I'll put it in and we'll post it to sell. So I think this thing um, is gonna be one of my easier fixes. So let's go get some oil in it. All right, now we just pour her in. Check the level, doesn't look very high in the dipstick and not much came out, so we'll see how this goes. All right, we'll check that. All right, kind of run down real fast. So this one was pretty straightforward. Sometimes you find pieces, um, that have one small mechanical problem. Seems pretty clean. Let's see if I can get it again. The thing with the clean oil, sometimes it's really hard to see on the dipstick. I don't think it's ready yet. I'll do a little bit more. If you go over on the lawnmower, what's going to happen is. Uh, It's gonna smoke pretty bad because uh, it's a horizontal engine. And so when you have oil sitting flat, what you're trying to do is uh, you're circulating it up like this. So um, it has like a little splasher. It kind of pumps everything around, but if it goes too high, it's gonna get into the cylinder 
and um, it'll start smoking really bad. So uh, if you see a lawnmower, that is just a smoky mess. They probably put way too much oil in it, which I mean, it's understandable. It's hard to see the line when you're doing it. And some people just pour her in like a car, you know, because you do have to kind of be a bit gingerly with how much oil goes in there. Like this, it kind of takes a long time doing it like this. A lot of guys can uh, get the capacity and just try to do it. You know, they, they, they have like a thing they fill up and just check it, but this is nice because it allows me to kind of take my time to um, get a feel for how much goes in here. So that's showing too high right now, but it's hard because there's gonna be a lot um, sitting in the pipe here just from doing it. So right now, it looks like it's showing kind of high. I, I don't even know if you guys can see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you see where the thing is? We'll, we'll let it sit for a sec. Because sometimes in the, uh, in the nozzle there, it kind of builds up, but it might be, it might be a little high. Um, if, if it's smoking, then we'll just pour a little bit out, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, it's good just to have some, uh, fresh oil in there. So let me put everything away. Yeah. So some things that were nice about this pickup, everything works. So I didn't really have to get into the nitty gritty. Um, engine seems to be in great condition. It's a Briggs. I think that, um, I took this off to take the blade off. I think that, um, you know, the little bit I ran it, once we get a new filter on, it should be really powerful. The carb was super clean, so I don't think it had any issues with that. It seemed like maybe it got, you know, the, the seat, the needle and seat got a little stuck, which I mean, happens when it sits for a long time, but I mean, everything's here. Everything cleaned up nicely. I think um, the pictures are gonna come out really nice on this thing and hopefully we get a nice chunk of change. I mean. The, I bought a four pack of air filters for eight bucks. So I guess it's like a $2 filter that I can kind of keep, you know, extras down the road if I run into like another one. Um, I do that with the other Briggs that has like the flat air filter. So I have a bunch of those, but um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm shocked with how little this thing needed. It just needed a good cleaning um, and a good, you know, kind of once over. Um, yeah, so hopefully someone picks her up and and really gives her, you know, hopefully the you know the the treatment that it deserves. It's a Toro, so they're really nice. I, I'm a big fan of Toro, so um, yeah. And I didn't go over it too much again because this is just going to be like a quick fix video. But um, I just use the Dremel for my blades if they're bad. So a lot of used ones, I'll do it. Otherwise, I hand file. Um, you don't really need to get them all that sharp in a hand file, especially if you have a new blade that you bought and you just, you know, I do it every six months. So middle of winter, I do um, my big, my big um, maintenance. I usually do oil changes for my mowers and I sharpen the blades and, you know, clean the decks and everything like that. And then um, in the middle of summer, I'll come back and just sharpen blades for both of them. I have that little John Deere and a little Craftsman Rider. But um, yeah, I think too, is like if you have any pieces of equipment that, you know, it runs or something like that, if you just give it, you know, if you have like a little pressure washer, an electric one, or if you have a gas one, I say every now and then just hit your stuff with a pressure washer. And like, it looks like this. I mean, you saw what it looked like when I picked it up. It was just as trashy as can be, but now it's like, you look at this and it almost looks like a steal. Like, I mean, you could sell it for a hundred dollars and someone would think they ripped you off because it looks like such a good deal. So, um, like I said, we're going to get a new air, air filter on it. So we're going to be $2 into it. If you, if you count the, uh, you know, four for eight. So, you know that, and well, I guess a little bit of oil, maybe, maybe a dollar's worth of oil. So we'll say three bucks into this. And then we'll see what it sells for, but I think we can get at least a hundred bucks for it. So just keep your eyes peeled, man. See what's on the side of the road and, you know, 
you get these lawn mowers and you give them a nice little pressure wash. I mean, these things clean up real nice. Like look inside here, that looks, that looks fabulous, you know? And the thing runs real nice. Like you saw that, uh, the only thing is just that air filter is a little dirty. So um, we'll get a nice fresh one in there and that's it. I, yeah, sometimes you just find good ones like that. So um, thanks for joining me guys. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I'll show it uh, probably being sold in another video and kind of update you on that. So cool. Thanks again for uh, tagging along. All right, so I'll give you a little quick update. Um, I did end up selling the mower, so I sold it for a hundred bucks, just not too long ago. Um, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys some of the things I did to sell it. So in case that's something you wanted to um, try yourself, um, the places that I posted it, um, I originally started on Facebook Marketplace, and then I went to Offer Up after that. Um, I had it originally on Facebook Marketplace for 140 with the intention of dropping it to um, 120 um, the next day. The reason I like to do that is a lot of the filtering for Marketplace, um, they actually have categories that pop up. So you can post something new and then um, once you reduce the price and it goes into a reduced price category. So what I like to do is do a little bit over what's your target um, starting price is, then reduce it to that within a day. And um, then you can kind of get posted in two other spots. So my intention was to sell it for $100. Um, there's sort of ranges out where we're at for uh, prices that people are willing to pay. And I find that for mowers, you know, especially nice ones with the bag, you can probably get 100, maybe 120 if it has a Honda engine. Uh, this one did not, it had that Tecumseh, even though I said Briggs in the uh, in one of my videos, it's actually a Tecumseh engine, um, which is still, it's a good engine. As you can see, you know, we, like we fixed it up and, you know, thing ran sweet. So, in fact, the guy was kind of looking it over when he was buying it, and I'll have like some video of that from my ring, but um, I think he was kind of skeptical as to why I was selling it. I think he was looking for, you know, somewhere that it might be, might have been broken that I was trying to get rid of it. Um, so that is something you kind of have to watch out for when you're kind of flipping these things too, is that most people do sell crap. So, um, so when you have something pretty decent, people are going to be really skeptical. So I let him know that I, I do this, that I fix things up. Um, I let him know that I, um, was given the mower instead of saying that I found it on the side of the road, small, you know, small, little white lie, but it was essentially the same thing. I fixed it up. I told them that I do have better mowers that I use. So um, that's also another thing you might want to tell these people is that you have better equipment and that's why you're not holding on to it. That's something I think they feel really comfortable with. Um, and also um, this thing sold. I, when I, I originally put it on Marketplace, I want to say two days ago. And then t today, this is um, Tuesday and I put it up today and um, about half a day, the guy came up and picked it up for a hundred bucks, exactly what I was looking for. So um, I hadn't used OfferUp too much prior to this. I mostly did Marketplace, but um, I'm finding that, especially with the COVID stuff, that uh, Facebook has become very um, unreliable, Facebook Marketplace. And OfferUp seems like it got way more views. Their filtering is way better than Marketplace. Um, and they seem to really push your product much better. So uh, something I'm going to be doing in the future when I'm doing this kind of stuff is just using OfferUp um, as my main. Um, I also, you know, was kind of scrolling through and it seems a lot easier to find things you're looking for. So just a little tip. But yeah, that's, I just want to let you guys know that's sort of how I um, approach selling things online. Um, you know, you kind of do these sites, you kind of aim for prices above where you're looking for. Um, I'll probably put up some pictures of how I posted it, what it looked like. Um, in this case, I kept the description very vague. I just said, um, you know, runs great, sharp blade, new oil. Um, that's things that people never touch themselves. So if you do that and you kind of let them know that, it's something they plan on never touching. So um, in his case, you know, he looked and, uh, you know, clear oil. Uh, we tipped it over, he looked at the blade, you know, it was nice and sharp. 
So he seemed, um, I think he seemed really satisfied with it. Uh, like R Russian dude, pretty cool guy. But um, yeah, just wanted to kind of give you guys like the full <laughs> picture of what happened. So um, as you saw, you, I mean, you saw from the very beginning of me cleaning it, figuring out what was going on with the thing and getting her running well. Um, something I didn't show was it was leaking a little bit of gas from the uh, carburetor bowl when you really tip it up um, all the way down. I, I just pulled off the bowl real fast when everything was on the mower. Um, just did a small cleaning on that and fixed it right up. I didn't have to do, take anything else off. No running issues were affected by that. Just something I did and I did end up swapping out that filter before the guy came. I just got him. So um, mower, it, I have $3 into it. So it was $2 for the filter and a dollar estimating for oil. So, um, so it was about three bucks into it and then obviously time you know pressure washing and yanking the carb and stuff apart so um yeah just want to let you guys know you know just like a typical fix um i still have that chainsaw up so we'll see how that goes but i have a hard time thinking that's gonna sell <laughs> at least i mean making any money it doesn't have a case and it's just a little junky craftsman so no one's gonna you know want to pay a premium for that so that might just sit in the shed too so we'll see but yeah just want to let you guys know how everything's going um thank you guys for joining and uh till next time all right see ya